guys because I'm really tired, but I know I need to make a video this week. And so since I'm awake, kind of, kind of, <laughs> I was going to talk about guilt and being sick, especially when um, you're undiagnosed. It's very, I think the guilt is a l escalates a little bit more when you're in the medical limbo stage because when people ask you what's wrong, you can't really tell them what's wrong. You can tell them your symptoms, but when something is going on for months, people don't really understand why you're not getting better because normally some like a flu or something just lasts a few weeks but if it's a chronic illness it can last your whole life and if you're in medical limbo that can last for years so there could be years where you don't have a explanation for your family members and your friends and co-workers and people can get fired people can lose friends there are so many things that can happen when you're chronically ill, even if you have your diagnosis. My guilt is with not being able to do what I should be doing at this age. I can't work and not being able to keep my room clean enough. Guilt with needing my mom to help me do like the litter box and feed my cats. Not being able to hold down a job. Not being able to move out, you know, I'm going to be 21 in a few days, and I'm still living with my parents. I know there's a lot of people that age living with their parents, but most of the time, you know, they're working towards something, and I don't really feel like I'm working towards anything. I don't really ever see myself being able to be healthy enough to hold down a job, and that's really scary, because I want independence so bad, and it just... I'm an adult age-wise, but I still feel like a child financially, and there's a lot of guilt with that. It's really hard because for most people, when you're chronically ill, on the outside, you probably kind of look a little lazy. Because most chronic illnesses are invisible, so, you know, I'm watching TV, and there are so many things going on inside my body, but nobody sees those things. They just see my messy room, and that I have dishes that need to go to the sink, or... Maybe I need to empty my toilet and I just haven't because I'm too dizzy to walk into the t toilet and flush it, you know, so I have to ask my parents to do it. All those things cause guilt. Sleeping for 20 hours and not doing the thing that somebody asked me to do causes guilt. Not feeling productive causes guilt, you know, and you have to remind yourself that you're not being lazy, that your body needs to rest and that it's... You're doing what you need to do, but it's very hard to do that constantly. Like, you constantly have to keep reminding yourself and reminding yourself that what you're going through and how you're coping with it is valid. You know, I love my body with all its flaws, and I have to remind myself that I need to love my life more than I hate my pain and more than I hate my illnesses. Because I think hating them is perfectly valid and perfectly fine thing to do. But you need to love your life and you need to make your life with chronic illness as fulfilling as possible. You know, because when you're in a moment of intense pain, it's really hard to love your life. But it's not impossible. And I have finally learned to laugh through pain and... Be productive because if I'm not productive then I never if I'm not productive through my pain then I never do anything and it's a constant battle being productive and resting and that battle can cause a lot of guilt just remind yourself that you are not lazy and that you do love yourself even if you don't love yourself in the moment tell yourself you love yourself anyway because the more you say it, the more likely it'll become true one day. It's like, I don't know how, I don't know why, but like, I started telling myself that I loved myself when I didn't. And eventually one day I woke up and I really did. I love you, and thank you for being alive. Bye.